Jim Rex? What's Jim Rex? Would you believe a movie audience guide presented as a public service by this theater's management to help you select your motion picture entertainment? Well, that's what it is. And we urge you to learn these rating symbols and use them as a guide for you and your family. G means suggested for general audiences, all ages. M, suggested for mature audiences, parental discretion advised. R, restricted, persons under 16 not admitted unless accompanied by parent or adult guardian. X, persons under 18 will not be admitted. This seal in advertising indicates that the film was approved under the motion picture code of self-regulation. And now, on with the show. The following movie is rated R. Hello everyone, this is a video on the history of Howling Wolf FM and AM radio. As you know, I started both of those radio stations, and currently there are two Howling Wolf AM radios, because one happens to be a copycat station, which I will also talk about in this video. Also, I want everybody to note that my previous YouTube videos on this matter, I deleted. They were not deleted by YouTube. I removed them, because it was making my channel look bad and unprofessional. So I decided to remove all those previous videos and replace them with this one. Um, just to give you a little history of um, Howling Wolf FM, I was working for another radio station in June of 2007. It did not work out, so unfortunately I was asked to leave that other radio station. When I was asked to leave that other radio station, I created Howling Wolf FM Radio. On June 18, 2007 is when Howling Wolf FM was created. Meanwhile, the radio station I used to work for before starting Howling Wolf was uh, broadcasting a room on Paltok, one of the biggest karaoke rooms on Paltok, which at that time we weren't broadcasting Paltok rooms. Well, the owner of that Paltok room came to me in September of 2007 and said, this other guy is slacking off, he's not showing up for his time slot, would you like to bring in Howling Wolf FM into my karaoke room and I said sure I said sure Jim I'd love to bring the uh, radio station into uh, your your room but I said I don't want to have any fights because their main radio station is Titan FM Titan FM radio which is now bronze radio they recently changed their name but Titan FM was in this room and I didn't want any clashes with Titan FM so in September of 2007 I created Howling Wolf AM Radio just to do Pal Talk rooms on Pal Talk and do this karaoke room and to have a place for talk shows, uh, churches, and other stuff like that to have alternate programming from Howling Wolf FM. And I also created the AM station deliberately so it wouldn't cause conflict with having Titan FM in there versus Howling Wolf FM. So that's why it was originally created. And we ran with it for a while. Uh, we did a few rooms on Pal Talk with the AM radio station, and it didn't work out. So there's a little history on how Howling Wolf AM was created. It was originally created to do Pal Talk rooms and so forth. <laughs> and now for our feature presentation. Now laugh and be happy, and the world will laugh with you. When people see you smiling, they can't help smiling too. Say, Fun Brigaders, this hey, is Sheriff quick. John. Are you starting to, to comprehend? You. 
and bring you the words of a new song. Tell you all in the Fun Brigade that of course, the Fun Brigade is made up of can't boys get and girls out. everywhere who like I can't to get out. happiness together and spread cheer. Oh. So remember, you oh keep smiling, God. will you? I can't all stop right. lying. I can't stop Come stealing. On now, I can't stop committing adultery. And the world will laugh can't stop with fornicating. You. When people oh, man, see you do, I can't get out of here. Can't help smiling Somebody get me out. When you look Why can't out I stop? Can't stop lying because that's all I know. I can't Break get out because that's all I know. Break out a smile and oh. in a while the oh. gloom will go wait a minute, away. Wait, wait. So laugh Jesus and be said. happy with a merry wait a minute, melody. He said something. He said. A song will make said, a hat rack look like a you Christmas obey, tree. Master. Get rid of worry in a hurry. So, Chase the close blues it. away. As long as I keep obeying, Sin will be my master all the day. I need something else to obey. I need to obey a righteousness. I need to obey the only begotten Son of God for the forgiveness of sins so I can get out of here. I need to repent. I need to admit that Jesus Christ is the only begotten Son of God. Come on now, I need to admit and be happy that God rose up from the dead on the third day. And I'll be free from this bondage. Smiling, they can't help Instead, I will learn to love look out the and to give. To, a dark and gloomy day. to honor God and obey His commandments. Yes. The gloom will go away. I need to learn. So laugh and be happy with a merry God. melody. Ladies and gentlemen, will make this has been another edition of like Christian to the Choir Ministries. And for the love of Get God, of read your Bible hurry, and do what it says. The blues away, just laugh and be happy all the live long day. Trolls, McMuffin, I think McMuffin is trying to make me commit suicide. Because if you, get, if you get through, if you have everything, if you have control of everything in my life, then the only thing you can do is make me commit suicide. You know, you have access to my bank, you have access to everything in my life, so, yeah. So you, you, you create me as a victim, and then, and it always ends up with suicide, you know? So these trolls do not like, these trolls do not want to admit it, but I think they're, they're, they're trying to make me commit suicide. Anyway. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. And now, on with the show. I decided I'm going to officially start my campaign as an independent for United States president. The reason I'm doing this is because Jesus told me to stay out of politics because he said, Gail, you're, you're going to be on the ballot for the general election. And if your name's not there, they can write you in. So that's what you need to tell your followers. Jesus wants me to stay out of politics because I'm going to be on the ballot. But I decided since Jesus wants me to run for U.S. president, let me tell you that I've established a page. I actually have a website. And I've established a page detailing my campaign platform. And, you know, I've been getting mail for the past six months verifying that I'm on the ballot in the run for U.S. president. Oh, by the way, one of my commentators made a comment about my clothes. That she always wears the same clothes all the time. That's because she's so poor she can't afford to buy any clothes. Actually, it's not that I'm poor. It's that I'm lazy. I like These are my favorite outfits. I've got a closet full of clothes. But I just hate to do laundry. And I have to do the Gale commandments. So what I do is I just wear what I'm real... I like my comfy clothes. And I wear... Um, I just wear what I'm comfortable in, it gives me less laundry to do, so it's just a matter of laziness. I'm not a vain person, so I don't go around trying to show off my wardrobe and that sort of stuff. <laughs> so, that, that explains it, okay? I'm just lazy about doing laundry. And if I wear less clothes, that's less laundry for me to do. Anyway, as I said, gee, I, I've been getting mail, and I've been laughing, thinking, wow, somebody's put me on the ballot. They, they said, congratulations on running for president, for, for running for politics, and I thought, I did this, I think my men put me on the ballot. So I'm on the ballot. I've been getting mail, mail for the past six months telling me that. So I'm starting my campaign. You can vote for me as U.S. President in the general election if my name's not on the ballot. You can write me in. I want to extend <coughs> an invitation to some political candidates that I like to endorse me for U.S. President. And that's me, Bernie Sanders, Tulsi Gabbard, and Donald Trump to endorse me for U.S. President. Um, if they choose to do this, that means their name's going to be on the ballot with their name and then my name next to them in parentheses. So if you see their name on the ballot like this, it means if you vote for them, you're really voting for me. They just want to, you know, like give a personal endorse endorsement on the ballot. If I am elected in November, I want to make Tulsi Gabbard my vice president if she endorses me. So list her as my vice president if she agrees to this. Tulsi will need to swear to honor my conspiracy law in order for her to be my vice president. 
By making her vice president, I will allow her to do a lot of my presidential job since I'm a very busy person. But everything she does must honor my current laws, as set forth on this page that I'll have a link to underneath this video. I would like to make Bernie Sanders, if he endorses me, in charge of health and human services, since his Medicare for All is very similar to my national health care plan. Donald Trump, if he endorses me, will be my campaign advisor and my press sec secretary to deal with the press. He's really good at that. I would like to make Ron Paul, if he endorses me, my chief economic advisor, who will counsel Tulsi Gabbard as she carries out a lot of my policies as president. Rand Paul, if he endorses me, I would like to give the post Secretary of State. According to an IQ test administered via a Church of Gale scanner in 2012, I have the highest IQ of any woman on the planet, so I certainly have the intelligence required to be American president. Ben Carson, if he endorses me, can keep his current position in charge of HUD, though I would like him to also be in charge of the Department of Education. And I think we need to come up with a way to make college tuition free, and this could probably be accomplished by stop wasting our money on regime change wars. Now that Melania Trump's out of the picture, we should be able to stop all this regime change war nonsense. I also feel that those burdened with college loan debt should be able to file for bankruptcy protection. I'm what you call a reluctant leader. I take this job because there's no better person than me for the job. And what we currently have going on in politics is not as good as me. I care too much about the welfare of the American people to not do this job. We are at a critical point in our history where if I don't do this job, we're going to either have a sociopath or a psychopath as U.S. president because Lori McBride has rigged both the Democrat and the Republican Party. So I have formed my own independent party. I'm like a third party run. Unfortunately, the only news that may report accurately about politics is Gabriel Tonner Fox News Zero Zero on cable. So you'll need to turn in, tune in to that channel to get the real news. From what I understand, we've replaced all the current politicians and news reporters and mainstream news with their automatons. So the only place to accurately get the news is Zero Zero on cable, Gabriel Tonner Fox News. The type of government I support is a constitutional monarchy. I'm literally half King David and half Catherine the Great. So this may explain why I prefer this form of government for the U.S. Japan actually made a huge mini-series about my royal ancestors in Japan, who gave me my Catherine the Great genies. And I'll have a link to that underneath this video. I'm working on putting English subtitles to it. We're almost done. It's really a very good production. It should win Oscars and Emmys if uh, Lori wasn't controlling Hollywood. My Myers-Briggs personality tests say that I'm an INFP, whereas my husband, Brett Spiner, is a courageous INFJ. He, too, took the test. I am an idealist, like an INFP, and am in politics because I believe in my cause and for no other reasons. I am not a power-hungry person, just a humble person judging. So that's, so, like, that's why I don't care about wearing different outfits every time I come back, because I'm just a humble, down-to-earth person who believes in my cause. John Lennon was an INFP like me, and his dreams for a world of peace are my dreams. Though I consider myself an evangelical, I'm thoroughly against imposing any religion on the people. People should feel free to choose whatever ideology they want to believe in, or ascribe to. I love John Lennon's song, Imagine, for this reason. I'm not against the Ten Commandments being posted anywhere, but I feel that other belief systems should feel free to have a representation as well, as long as what they support is not terrorism. Um, despite the fact that I'm half King David, we are not going to cater to Israel, as long as they allow Lori McBride to influence their government. I oppose all forms of tyranny, even among my own people, the Jews. I'm half King David, remember? I've always believed in having a Palestinian state away from the nation of Israel. But until then, the Palestinians should feel free to live in Israel in peace and security. Israel has fought long and hard for their land, which God gave to them. So I don't believe in taking away any of the land promised to them in the Bible. But neither should the Jews oppress any minorities within their borders, which I hear they're doing. I belong to the Gabriel Chana Independent Political Party, and I'll have a link to, when you, when you explore the page that I'll have a link to underneath this video, I'll have links to all these pages. I've been the U.S. Empress since spring 2014, and I have a link to my latest laws and legislation underneath this video. I have a national health care plan, and we've already started implementing it, and it works very well, and it saves us a lot of money, too. I have, I am the author of Conspiracy Law, which I've made the law of the land. I've been working on Conspiracy Law since 2004. So I've been a lawmaker since 2004. Conspiracy law has been the law in Russia since 2004. Or 2003, actually. We've had some problems with enforcement because the Lori McBride Jesuits try to portray me as the crazy lady. And some people don't realize I'm the U.S. Empress. I don't think the government should be funding abortion, except in the case of incest or rape. Got a link for that. I've got a link for all this stuff. Just explore the page that I've created underneath this video. And I have links for everything I'm talking about here. 
<coughs> I feel we should leave the gun. <coughs> dropping those bombs. That's Lori McBride dropping those bombs. She needs to stop. <coughs> That's death penalty what she's doing. <coughs> we should leave the gun laws as they are. We should regulate the tech giants, take away their monopoly, and they should be fined when they attack freedom of speech. That's my law. I have voting laws to ensure that Lori McBride does not sabotage the voting process. <coughs> She's dropping those bombs. I, I explain my party's platform underneath this video, the link. My political ideology is libertarian, constitution, and green. I am somewhat a centrist. I have a policy for the homeless. Check the page underneath this video. <coughs> I feel that Lori McBride Jesuits, who are dangerous sociopaths and psychopaths, should be executed. I actually won the 2016 presidential election for Donald Trump, because we thought he was dead at that time. And then we, uh, we re reinstated him as president when we saved him from Angelina Ballerina on January 6, 2017. I have strict laws against money laundering. I absolutely detest using the mil U.S. military to finance the military-industrial complex. We only use our military to take out Lori McBride Jesuits worldwide. We allow each nation to have their own autonomy with a government that honors their unique culture. So long as that country does not use sociopaths and psychopaths to support the Jesuit order, they are free to run their country however they want. I do not take the arrogant position like Melania Trump and Donald under Melania's leadership and many other leaders like Hillary Clinton and even Barack Obama and George W. Bush and uh, Bill Clinton take that the American version of democracy is the only way for the rest of the world. <coughs> Real. Another thing. <coughs> Vladimir Putin is on my marriage list. We are in a military alliance with Russia, and I absolutely will not tolerate anyone in my cabinet treating Russia as our enemy in any form. Under my rule, it is, it's a death penalty violation of conspiracy law to create human clones. And believe me, Lori McBride has been going to town with this and has been stealing Brett Spiner's identity using a Brett, <coughs> Brett Spiner clone. So anyways, that's it, folks. I'm just officially announcing my run for United States President. I get stuff on my phone from Donald Trump all the time telling me, Please don't send me money. Actually, I'm not rich, but I'm not. I'm not... I'm not uh, so poor that I can't eat well or that I can't take care of my needs. Actually, it's kind of funny because I don't actually, I, my money is very, very limited. And I do the Gale Commandments and I only spend money on food and bills, but I have zero debt. I'm able to save $100 a month because I'm so frugal. I cook everything from scratch. Uh, I cut my own hair. I color my own hair. <clears throat> I, I'm, I'm eating almost vegetarian because that saves me money on groceries. And by having zero debt and um, paying all my bills on time, even though I did have to file for bankruptcy in 2002, right after my divorce, because I had never worked and I wasn't able to get a job, so I, and I took out credit cards and stuff, my current credit score is over 800, simply by doing the Gale Commandments. It amazes me that, that I have such a frugal income and I'm able to have a credit score over 800. <laughs> it, just, uh, it just cracks me up. Anybody looking at my credit score would think that I had the income of a, you know, like a business executive, which I certainly do not. So you say, well, how can you run for president when you don't have money? Well, my men will get, they will be my, with Trump as my campaign advisor, because I think he's going to be in on this. Yeah, I won in 2016. I'll probably win again in 2020, so. I'm starting my campaign. I won't be doing a typical campaign, in other words. I'm not going to invest as much into it as most people do running for president, but I wanted you to know that I have officially launched my campaign for the general election. I'm getting a head start, and uh, my name is going to be on the ballot, so vote for me. I'm the best one. I, basically, if I think Tulsi Gabbard and Donald Trump and Bernie Sanders may agree to put their name on the ballot with my name in parentheses, so you'll, if you vote for me or any, any, any other politician on the ballot who has my name in parentheses after that, you'll be voting for me. I'm probably going to do fine. I'm probably going to win which will be good for this country. Lori McBride, you are not going to win, man. None of your candidates are going to be U.S. President. Hello, everyone. I am Emo Hallingwell. I thank you for viewing my channel and viewing my profile page. First of all, I want to tell you what this channel is going to be about. This channel is going to be about my personal videos, 
uh, talking about gay topics, talking about emo topics, talking about other stuff in the news, um, but not as controversial as my other channel. Uh, so I invite everybody to subscribe and uh, become a part of this channel. I also want to say this. I also enjoy what they call tagged videos. Uh, I used to love doing this when we did this on Blog Ahead. Somebody will make a video and say, uh, what's your favorite uh, music? And pick five people at randomly to uh, say what their five uh, favorite songs are. And then those people would pick five more people and so forth. I love doing those things. So if you ever want to tag me and ask me a question, I'll, I will respond. If you ever have a topic that you want me to discuss, once again, contact me and I will respond. I will respond to all my comments and videos and any message I get on YouTube. I want to I wanna be a friend. I want to get this channel going. I want to bring it from the ground up to maybe being a partner someday. So if you have any ideas on how to make this channel better, share them with me as well. Now, uh, and that's basically it. Now, as far as me being emo, yes, I am extremely emo. I believe in the personality of emo. I get very depressed, I think the world's a dark place, yes, sometimes I want to kill myself, because uh, I hate my life, I hate the world, um, I am also gay, but I am very emo. Now, a lot of people say, how can you be emo if you don't have the long, the long hair coming down your face? Well, the answer to that question is I had that at one time, but a couple summers ago, I went to work for a company that said, no long hair, no mohawks, etc. I'll even post a picture at the end of this video of what I used to look like when I had one of my mohawks uh, back in 2003. So I am very emo. I don't have the hairstyle right now, but I do polish my nails. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you can see that. I got pink nail polish on. I wear a lot of gay pride jewelry. See? Gay pride jewelry. Bracelets. <laughs> Mostly girls' bracelets. Um, and I got my <laughs> rainbow colored <laughs> uh, peace sign earrings in right now. And of course my dog tag with the rainbow colors and my peace sign. <laughs> you know, I wear this stuff all, all over. And as emos are, they're also into women's clothing. And yes, I am into women's clothing a little bit. For an example, here is one of my pink socks. <laughs> yep, pink sock. <laughs> and if we go over here, this is my favorite pair of shoes. My white and pink shoes that I bought at Walmart. See? So now you know a little bit about me, plus there's more stuff on my profile page. So like I said, if you have a video topic you want me to discuss, if you want to tag me and get a video response and say, Hey Emo, what's your favorite songs? A day to respond. I'll respond to your video. I'll respond to any of your emails, comments, and so forth. And if you have any questions that you want to ask me, don't feel... F feel free to... If you have any questions you want to ask me, feel free to ask at any time. This channel, I'm going to be me. My other channel, I was very controversial. Very nasty on stuff, very nasty on topics. This channel, I'm going to be more down to earth, and I'm going to be myself. And hopefully someday I can make it to YouTube, partner. But I doubt it. I doubt if I'll ever be good enough to be a partner, but still, thanks for watching. Subscribe. And, uh, thanks for watching and subscribe. And, uh, till next time, you be well. <laughs>
Because someday, you fucking scumbags will have a disability. Someday, you guys will not be able to control your bodily functions. Someday, you guys, somebody in your cancer, or you someday, will have cancer. And Lord, when you, when that moment comes, remember, it's God's payback for what you did to me. It's God's fucking payback. So next time, next time somebody in your family, Steve, gets cancer, remember I gave it to him. Next time somebody in, the, in your family, Mama Cookin, gets cancer, remember it's payback for all the shit you're doing to me now. Because you guys will get it in the end, what I'm dealing with now. Every one of you motherfuckers, because everybody dies with a disability. Some of you who are smart minds now will die of dementia and not even knowing who the fuck you are. Some of you scumbags, when you get old enough, will lose your eyesight. Some of you scumbags, when you get older, will lose your fucking hearing. And yes, some of you scumbags, when you get older, will have to wear diapers. And when that moment comes, I hope there's some little twerp that's 20 year, fucking years old making fun of you. Like that little fucking twerp in that fucking ass hat video. So take your assassin and jam it up your ass, pal. Because I'll tell you, someday, karma will come around and you guys will get yours. You want to troll somebody who has cancer. You want to troll somebody who's medically weak. And to me, that makes you a little life scumbag, okay? That makes you a low-life scumbag. So you know what? All you fucking people like Gary Fuckfake, and Mama Cookin, and all you fucking guys, you can kiss my ass. This is my last video response to every one of you motherfuckers. But you're not getting me off the channel because you know why? I'm gonna tell you something. There's one. There's one person that watches my channel. His name is Grampy Lobster. Go ask Grampy Lobster how long the war has been going on between him and another user on YouTube by, by the name of Von Te by the name of Von Helton. The Grampy Lobster Von Helton war has been going on since 2006, oh, guys. Hello, folks. Grampy Lobster here. Welcome to the Grampy Lobster show. All right? We do it all here. We know it all. We say it all. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I'll cut your fucking nose off. Everybody, it's Emo Shitty Pants again. Listen, it's true. You hear about all those cows trampling the lobsters in May? That was me. My little cow diaper on. Feeling nice and soft and cuddly on my blankie. <laughs> That's right. That was a big one. But yeah, Grampy Lobster, you're next. I get a fork with your name on it. With a stab in the eye, you fucking prick. I hate you. I hope you fucking die. Piece of shit. Yeah, I have two clocks on the wall. Do you see this? I have two clocks on the wall. That one is in my time. The green one over there is in Denver time. You see it? The green one? That one? The green bird clock? That's in Denver, Colorado time. That's why they're two hours different. And I'm tired of the hating and the trolls. I'm tired of everybody being fake friends. I'm tired of people subbing to my channel with sock accounts. He calls his videos parody videos. I call them hate and harassment. The guy is trolling me, okay? So if you support Gary Snowflake, you're an idiot. You're the troll, not me. Look, you pathetic pieces of shit. It's really me. Do you understand me? This is not a fake account. This is a real me. I will, and this is the last time I'm mentioning in my video. I'm being honest. I'm mentioning him. This will be the last time. 
Hello everybody, Emo Hollywood. I'm, I'm making this video because I want to expose one of my trolls. What site does is it allows you to put web addresses for the sites you want to block on the computer. I, I go on YouTube. I do a rant. I do a response to a troll. One of the videos was called a response to Ta Tommy the Wanker, right? Was a response to my haters and trolls. In that video, Tommy's video, I called Tommy an F-P-O-S. Okay, I'm trying not to say the words because I don't want this age restricted. An F-P-O-S, okay? Gary took the audio of that video, right? Took the audio of that video. Made a video on his channel of me in the bathroom stall yelling that same day. Yeah, but... Okay. So why is Gary's video not age restricted? But mine is. As a nerd to tell me, oh, none of my trolls flagged your videos. Well, bull fucking shit. Because what does that fucking say? Flag, 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 flag. Right fucking here in plain English. And right there, and I'm giving you the middle finger like you keep giving me the middle finger. So what I've been doing is you're a piece of shit. You're a fucking piece of shit. You understand me? You're a piece of shit. Okay. 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 One of my latest videos, and they're both by trolls, by the way. Uh, I have a feeling they're both by trolls, but it says, Emo, the bullies won't be laughing when they get what, when they face their karma. And then Pookie L comments, Renda, nobody, no one is Emo's bullies. They aren't laughing at him. But they are laughing with him. Well, I don't find it funny! So how am I laughing when I'm bitching and I tell you I don't find it fucking funny? So you are laughing at me, asshole! <laughs> because when I tell you I don't find it funny, I don't find it fucking funny! No one's bullying him, they're not laughing at him, they're laughing with him. But I'm not laughing! <sighs> That's why everyone that ever certain somebody's videos that everybody thinks it's funny. Oh, look at that, he's making fun of Emo again. They're getting a rise out of it. They think it's fucking funny. Well, you're all fucking pathetic. Because when I tell you something's not funny, it's not fucking funny. And when I say something's hate, it's fucking hate. Get it through your head. And you had to have the right tools up here to be a cop. Okay? That's the way it used to be. But nowadays, you got this fat fucking piece of shit! I'm right, he's a fat fucking piece of shit that deserves to be shot! A disgrace to that sheriff's department in Denver! Who deserves to be shot because only a good, only good cop is a dead fucking cop? And Gary reaches a thousand people. Now he's got his watch hours because he's using my content. He's stealing my fucking face, my fucking voice, my fucking whole body, putting it on his channel. So he uses my content and he'll get paid for it. Get 
That's why it pisses me off, Gary, every time you fucking do it! In a fucking scumbag, just stole 163 viewers from me. 163 watch minutes as the time of this video being created. And I'm supposed to be okay with this and have a party and think I have! He says he's building up my channel by making retarded videos about me, by bashing me. He's building up my channel. No, he's building up his channel because he's stealing my viewers. He's stealing my watch minutes. And the same day, grumpy, grumpy, fucking crappy, fat, shitty, pissy, pity, whatever fucking lobster doing the same fucking thing. And everybody else. Making this on my 2010 account. Uh, I want to talk about a little subathon that's going around for Brandon. I don't know who Brandon is. I don't know what he's about, but I just want to say I, I can't really support a subathon. Why can't I support a subathon? Because nobody has ever done a subathon for me. Nobody has done a room raid for me. Nobody has supported my channel. All I get in reality are a bunch of haters and trolls picking on my content, stealing my content, reusing my content without permission. No support at all from the community while I've been dealing with this war for the last two months. So why should I in just consciousness support a subathon for Brandon when nobody's done a fucking subathon for me? I've been on YouTube 10 plus fucking years and I still ain't got a thousand subs. I got a channel yet, alright, where 90% of my subs are boots, bots, and sock accounts. They're not really fucking people. But like I said, nobody supports the emo Holland move, so why should I go out and support this branded guy? And if that pisses you off, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, I can't go into live streams. There are several live streams I can't go into anymore because people have impersonating, use a fake name and impersonated me and shown porn in several fucking uh, panels where I'll never be allowed on the panels. I'll never be invited to the Michael Mo the Mike Malloy show. I'll never be on Jeff is Here's panel or Tyrant Hunter's panel. I'll probably never be on SNS's SNS Productions panel. I'll probably never be on Too Tall Rob's panel again. Why? Because somebody went in there impersonating my fucking name and showed and showed fucking porn. Then of all the smart ass comments, the fake emo Holland Wolves went around. So, like I said, until I get support, I'm not supporting any more subathons on YouTube. Okay? I, I can't. I can't in good conscience support this fucking subathon for Brandon. I can't do it. Because like I said, nobody's been supporting me the last two months dealing with the fake account. Where I'm an outcast in the entire fucking First Amendment community. That's right, I'm a fucking outcast on YouTube. Because of Gary, and because of Lobster. And because of the fake emo Howling Wolves. So like I said, I'm getting to the point, why should I support the community anymore when the community can't support me? That's just my feeling, guys. Am I right or wrong? Am I being an asshole here for speaking my mind or what? So where's my subathon? Ten plus years and I'm still waiting. But I find it funny how Janet Matson, who I love to death, could raise over uh, raise over a thousand subs within two days. But me, it, it, me, it's ten plus years and counting, and I can't even get to a thousand subs. Not that I'm bashing Janet for her subathon. I'm not saying that. I'm just using that as an example. So people could have so people could do it for her. They could have did it for me by now. I'm just being honest. I'm just saying.
And like I said, half the chat rooms I'm not allowed in anymore because of what the fake emo Holland Wolves have done. And I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be very, very honest with you. I've been debating the last two weeks on shutting the channel now, guys. I think on Saturday I'm going to do the uh, fucking appreciation video for the uh, PayPal pool. And the Texas PayPal pool, and then after that it's it. Cause I can't deal with it no more. I literally don't feel any support on, uh, on YouTube anymore. I don't even I don't even feel like I belong on the platform anymore. It's the way I feel. So Saturday may be the last video you might see on this channel because I'm getting tired of it. I can't believe I've been on YouTube almost ten fucking years. Nobody's done the sub it down. What have I gotten in ten years? In ten years, made fun of, right? Made the laughing stock of the entire YouTube community. That's the support I got. Being made an outcast of the whole YouTube community. That was the support I got. My videos chopped up into and par into parody pieces, which I call hate videos. That's what I've gotten over the last 10 years. I never really have gotten any support on my channel. So, why should I why should I support Brandon when Brandon, when nobody supports me? I'm just pointing this out again that I find it funny that the community helps who they want to help and when it comes to the old emo Holland Wolf, I get this 90% of the time. I get made fun of, ridiculed, bashed, beaten up by haters and trolls, and nobody comes to my rescue. Okay? Nobody's come to my rescue over the last few months dealing with this shit. <clears throat> and I'm just to the point where I yeah, so now, instead of being able to go into a lot of rooms, there's maybe three rooms I can go into now. Where I can still go on the panels, but... The majority of the people won't have me on their panel. Because of what the fake emo hollowos are doing. The fake people impersonating me, whipping their fucking dick out in a fucking live battle. Impersonating me and playing on YouTube. And, uh, the last couple of weeks I've been thinking of shutting the channel down. Because there's no point. I'm just tired of it. I'm just thinking of bullshit. I don't know. I just had to make this video get my feelings out. If it, if it offended you, I'm sorry, but I, I but I just had to speak my mind and get it out. Until next time, stay safe, be well, take care of yourself and each other. But like I said. I'm so tired of the bullshit. I, I'm really doubting this channel is going to continue much longer after Saturday. Not Hello all. everybody, Emo Howling Wolf. This is going to be my last uh, YouTube video for about a week. Uh, because as of today, my internet is getting shut off and my power is getting shut off on Monday morning. And I just don't have the money, guys, when you live on... Uh, fixed income, limited income, uh, disability, and you have cancer, you just can't afford all these bills. So, uh, this month I couldn't afford my car insurance, my lights, or my internet. Because Social Security just does not give you enough money to live on. So, 
I will see you back on YouTube when I see you back on YouTube. I may be in some of you guys' broadcasts during the weekend on my phone, but I won't be posting anything. So if you get hemmed up, you're on your own because I won't be on the internet to uh, mirror your videos this week for the next 10 days till I get the internet back on the 3rd and till I get power back on the 3rd. So it is what it is. Stay safe, be well, take care of yourself and each other and let, and as always if you want to donate but not required go to my about uh page on my youtube page and the donation link is in there but again it's not required because uh, a lot of you guys don't know me and i don't know you but uh if you want to do it you can but it's not required uh, I can still, I still consider each and every one of you a supporter, whether you donate or not. I'll just rough it through the next ten days with no power, no internet, and just deal with it. So it is what it is. All right. <clears throat> I don't know, I got to the point where I ended up puking and shitting myself today. Uh, and they do this especially in the adult diaper community. People who need to wear diapers do this all the time. Onision made, Onision, or Onision, or however you pronounce his name, made a video bashing the uh, adult uh, baby community. Uh, and in every one of his videos, he was not wearing a diaper. He was wearing protective underwear. And people take, people call protective underwear diapers when they're not diapers. You need to get it through your head. If it doesn't have four tabs, if it doesn't have two tabs, it's not a diaper. If it's a slip-on, it is not a diaper. I'm sick and tired of people who in the adult diaper community that keep calling these things diapers when they're not. And I'll explain to what uh, explain to you what I'm talking about. Uh, let me make myself a little bit smaller and I can show you what I mean. Okay. This right here that I have below the camera is a protective underwear. As you can see, this protective underwear is all one piece. Doesn't have tapes. Doesn't have tapes, it's all one piece, and is made for like a 44 waist to a 54 waist. The problem with these things is they, ha they have an elastic waist, and then they have an elastic thing that goes around the leg. The only problem is, is they make these things for so many, so, so many sizes that as you use the thing, the thing stretches to its, to its other sizes. So if you take it, so in other words, if you take a crap in this thing, it's gonna, it's gonna, in your 44 waist and it goes to a 4, 50 something waist, it's gonna stretch to the size of a 50 something waist and you will sometimes have a leak of stuff going all down your leg, all over the floor and uh, making a nice giant mess because these things will stretch to the next size. The bottom will drop out. The gap between your uh, the gap here between your leg will get wider, and when you have a wide hole, guess what? Stuff spills over the dam, and you have a nice mess. So that's why I don't like these. But these are protective underwear, not diapers. I can't stress that enough. I don't wear these because I, like I said, I have bowel incontinence, and if I was to 
use one of these, it would stretch, leak, and then have have it all down my leg, all down, all over the floor, all over the place. So that's why I don't use these. To me, I use diapers. I use what a diaper really is. This thing that I'm showing you with the mouse is not a diaper. I will show you what a diaper really is. This is a diaper. Because this being this hole here where I got the mouse, and this hole here is where your legs would go. The back tab comes around the back and tapes to the front. So you have this two tapes here. Two tapes to hold the left side. And then, and then the same thing, it'll come back from the back around your leg and tape to the front. This is a diaper. This you can tighten. This you can make tighten for your size. This, once you fasten it, is not going to stretch and make you have a leak, <laughs> okay? Or have an accident all over the place. This is really a diaper because it has tabs. Like I said, this is, uh, this here is not. But, I see this all the time. Onesium was bashing the... Now, there's a community of people that don't need to wear diapers like I do. They call themselves adult babies, adult diaper lovers, and they love to wear diapers for the fun of it. Anision in his videos used this type of brief, uh, used this type of garment in his brief and kept call in his videos and kept calling them diapers. They're not diapers. Because they're all one piece, they're all slip-on. A few years ago, I saw a hazing video one time on YouTube, it just popped up, uh, where a bunch of guys that were going to college, they were hated, they were going through hazing sessions, where they were all, and in the video it says, uh, making college freshmen wear diapers. So I click on the, I click on the, uh, video, it's a video of, like, five or ten people that are trying to get into a fraternity, and they're all being hazed and everything else, uh, and they said that they were wearing diapers. When I clicked on the video, they were wearing all of these. They were not wearing diapers, they were wearing protective underwear. Because like I said, this, this, over here, over this way, that's a diaper. The what I have below me is not a diaper. And what I have on, and yes, I'm, I'm going to show you. And no, I'm not going to show you anything new, but here's my diaper. And as you can see, here's a tab. Tab. There's another tab. And then over here, there's another tab. And then up and then up top, here's another tab. So these are really diapers. So stop calling protective underwear. Stop calling protective underwear diapers when they're not. Hey everybody, it's Emo Shitty Pits. That's right, I got a job now. 
Picking up and delivering diapers, something I know something about. Kind of stinky in here, but I'm used to the smell, so make a little extra money on SSI and fuck you guys, I'm claiming it, so you can go fuck yourselves. <laughs> so fuck you, Gary Snowflake and Steve B and Chip Bolin and Grumpy Lobster, you're a fucking dick. I hate you. I hope you fucking die, you fucking prick bastard, fucking asshole.